Today, we're gonna be diving into the ChatGPT plugin called Access Link. Imagine being able to pull all of the text content from any web page in seconds. We're gonna cover installation and setup. We're gonna cover the features and capabilities, data extraction and the marketing applications. And then we're gonna get into a couple of use cases with some really fun things towards the end. And we've got a lot more videos coming. We all know that data is everything and that there's so much data at our fingertips we often feel completely lost. Have you ever felt buried under mountains of PDF reports, user reviews, and industry insights, wishing there was some sort of magic wand to make sense of all of this data that just feels completely overwhelming and like just wish there was a way to hit the easy button why don't you go ahead and hit the easy button and get all the information that is actually useful to have somebody do the work for you well what if i told you there's a tool that does that and it's free why do you fingertips and well the honest truth is yeah there is and i'm going to show you everything you need to know to use that tool today and we're going to make landing pages and make facebook ads and even write email sequences with all of that information today so without any further ado, let me help you dive into one of my favorite ChatGPT plugins, Ask Your PDF. We're gonna turn those PDF puzzles and problems into easy to monetize money-making solutions. As always, there is no gatekeeping. There is full transparency. This is the blueprint. I'm going to show you every step of the way and share my screen for the entire thing, plus give you a link to the chat in ChatGPT so you can see the entire record of it. Literally everything that I'm gonna do, you're gonna get full exposure to so that you can copy and paste your way to success. With that being said, let's stop wasting time and start making money. Okay, hear me out. Ask Your PDF isn't just a normal PDF reader. It's a powerful tool that will scan and analyze all of your documents for you. You can do customer reviews and comments, maybe industry insights, and like so much more. Literally anything you can save as a PDF, it can see. Imagine being able to query like a 500 page report in 30 seconds to get you all the information you need, and then weaponize all that information by having the machine do all the work for you. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. So what we're gonna cover today is installation and setup, features and capabilities. We're gonna cover data extraction and the applications and marketing and then get to three really powerful use cases so that you never actually have to do any work ever again. This is gonna be fun, so let's get started. So the first step that we have to do here, one is we're gonna hit a new chat and inside of this, I'm just gonna turn off all my things. What we want to do is go down to the plugin store and find Ask Your PDF. Now, it happens to be right on my main screen because I use it all the time, but let's say you need to find it. Ask Your PDF. Got it. There it is. Cool. That's the one. We're going to uninstall. We're going to install. We're going to install again. We're going to uninstall. We're going to install again. Like, it's quite literally that easy. I just uninstalled it and installed it live on this like video right now, in, like three times in five seconds. Okay. So now we got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Let's keep going. Now, we also have Access Link applied, which we've had before. For this conversation, I'm gonna turn it off. You could absolutely pair Access Link and Ask Your PDF to do super powerful things for you. And we teased that in the last video, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of it more in this video, as well as another plugin that I love that, well, we're gonna cover in the next video of this series. So again, hit like and subscribe. Don't miss any of the videos in this series because this is going to be amazing, and you deserve the success that we're gonna talk about. Anyway. We've now installed it, we've set it up. So what is it gonna do for us? What makes Ask Your PDF such a powerful tool in your marketing toolkit is that it allows you to directly upload your PDFs into a URL and then give you a little link to reference so that ChatGPT can do all of the work that ChatGPT normally does 
But instead of being limited to just the amount of characters you can type in, you can literally just give it an entire library of information. Maybe it's a 10 page report you don't wanna read or a 500 page analysis for your entire industry or the entire Cyclopedia Britannica. Whatever it is you wanna do, you can upload it. And that's where the real magic happens is because once you upload it, you can use the power of ChatGPT to perform any function you want using that information, either to extract data from it or to use the data that it's in it to get other things done for you. So let's talk about data extraction and applications in marketing. So we've teased this enough. Let's dive into actually how to use Ask Your PDF. Now there are two ways about this. Now my more preferred way is to actually go to askyourpdf.com. So what I'm gonna do here today is we're gonna use, this is the lovely website by the way. Now what we're gonna do here today is I'm actually gonna upload um, all the reviews that I've gotten from the Facebook ads MBA program testimonials for ChatGP demo. Like this is how I've named the document, full transparency. Okay, so this is about 100 folks that have gone through the Facebook Ads MBA program and all of their reviews. So as you can see, there is a conversation function inside of Ask Your PDF. We're not gonna use that. We're just gonna actually reference the document itself. So we hit documents and we have this. This is the ID that we need. But anyway, now we've uploaded it. This is what we're gonna reference later. It's found right here. To be fair, you can also go to ChatGPT and ask it, hey, can you reference a PDF? And then it'll ask you to upload it. There are two ways about it. I like going directly to the site. No reason you couldn't do either one. And now because it has all of it, we can let it analyze all the comments, all of the reviews and do a whole bunch of work for us. And really that's what it's all about, right? So you might be asking, well, where does this fit into my marketing strategy? And I know we touched on it before, but let's cover it again real quick. We can use this to write ads for us. We can use this to write landing page copy for us. We can use this to write emails. Now, I've already shown you how to uh, build Facebook ads with all the information from JackGPT. And if you missed that, go check out the earlier video that we did on Access Link. Um, it was phenomenal and you can absolutely do the exact same process, but I'm not going to show you the same prompts. I want to give you more information. I'm just letting you know that everything that we did with Access Link, we can also do really the only difference is instead of referencing web pages to give us our information, we're going to reference uh, PDFs, which in this case was literally nothing more than an Excel spreadsheet where all I did was I took all the reviews, I dropped it into Excel spreadsheet with a column that says name and a column that said review. I think it went down to like 86 reviews and I was like, all right, this is enough. Um, and it was literally quite that easy. By the way, um, let me show you real quick what that doc looked like. This, by the way, is the document that we've used. I've got name and testimonial, all of this. And the way that I got the PDF is I went into file, I hit download, PDF, boom. When we do that, we wanna make sure we hit fit to page, fit to page. That way, if you do fit to height or fit to width, sometimes it's too wide, sometimes it's too narrow. We want all of the things. So then we hit export, boom, we've got the document. And now we can go in and upload that directly into Ask a PDF. That's how we got this, by the way, in case you need to make your own. And that Excel spreadsheet, the one in there, I guess was 91 rows deep. It could be 91,000. Um, and you, there's literally no limit to how much you can upload into Ask Your PDF, which makes it amazing. All right, so that being said, let's get down to actually making some crazy stuff happen. Let's get to some use cases. Analyzing user reviews. All right, so let's say for instance, what we wanna do is just take a look at our user reviews to have a clear understanding of what's going on. Now, this might be useful for CX concerns or customer service. It might also be useful for a whole bunch of other things. So let's get into some of those right now. What we're gonna do is just kind of take a look at, well, what are the most common things that people say when they leave a five-star review? Um, well, we can identify that information like that. How do we do it? Let me show you. We're gonna go to Ask Your PDF. We're gonna copy this link right here. Boom, boom, boom. What we're gonna do is say, I want to know a few things from a PDF. Can you reference a PDF to help me? And it says, of course. Well, what document? Lovely. Well, we've got the document right here. Boom, we're gonna hit paste. There we go. At this point, it's now referencing that doc. It's synthesizing the information. And hey, look, it knows what it is. 
And then it's gonna say, hey, what specific type of information would you want? So what I wanna know is, what are the three most common things people say when they leave a review? So let's just ask that. What are the three most common things people say when giving a review? And hit enter. Here's what we have. When folks leave a review to the Facebook Ads MBA program from Disruptor School, the three most common things they say, immediate ROI. Many reviewers mentioned that they experienced an immediate return on their investment after enrolling in Facebook Ads MBA program. What else? Uh, they fired their ad agency. Several individuals said that they were able to take over their Facebook campaigns and subsequently fire their ad agencies. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, time saving is the third most common thing said in all the reviews. Another common point is that the program helped them save a lot of time, allowing them to scale their business more efficiently. That is phenomenal information. And we can, we can go ahead and ask it a million other things if we wanted to dive deeper. Um, I'll leave it there. You could absolutely do that if you wanted, but let me show you how to do two other really awesome things. So what if we wanted to use customer reviews to instead help us write landing page copy? Well, we have a whole bunch of customer reviews. Why don't we use that to help us write a features and benefits section of our landing page? If you have a VSL, why not use the words of your own customers to write the words on that page so that you're literally talking to potential customers with what existing customers have to say? Now, you could also maybe filter out for positive or negative reviews, but for what it's worth, out of those 80, 90 reviews that came from the Facebook Ads MBA program, I think they're all positive. Nobody's ever asked for their money back. So I'm gonna do full transparency. Whatever they say is what they said. So with that being said, let's use these reviews to write a features and benefits section for our VSL. Using Ask Your PDF to help you write landing page copy. All right, so what's the prompt that's gonna help us do this? Remember, we're referencing the Ask Your PDF section from above, so we can go directly in line. And what that looks like is this. Use these reviews to write a features and benefits section for a VSL. And it says Sighting Link. And then just comes directly in line with literally everything that people said about the business to write a landing page to sell other people on the business. And like, does it get any easier or more honest and transparent than that? I don't think so. Email copywriting. For the last use case we're gonna do here is, let's use this information to write emails. Let's say you landed on that video sales letter and you didn't quite buy it, but I have your information. Maybe I'm using something like retention.com or you've signed it for my newsletter, etc. So why don't I use this to write a seven stage email drip that I can literally copy and paste into my CRM database and have it be done completely for me? Yeah, there's no good reason not to. So here's the prompt. Write me a seven step email drip based on the reviews for anybody who's landed on disruptorschool.com backslash MBA, which is the BSL landing page for the Facebook ads MBA program from Disruptor School. Let's see what they come back with. And if you look at it, here is an amazing email flow, written, email, by email. And it even includes a first name, tag, stuff like, I can literally copy and paste this into my CRM database and I have an email drip written for me, which if you watch Jimmy Kim's interview is something that you should probably be doing on all of your product pages. So why not let your existing customers and their reviews write the emails for new customers to get them excited. This is how you instill transparency and honesty and ultimately make the process of the sales funnel completely congruent. Because if the landing page is the words of the people that have been excited based on their experience and the emails have been too, and by the way, you could 100% do this to write video scripts or Facebook ads. If the ads and the emails and the landing pages and the videos all use the same words as the people that have gone through the program. Imagine what's gonna happen to the continuity once the people enter the program and they get the exact results that everybody else has said. Like, it is quite literally this easy. And all it took was copying almost 100 user reviews. It could've been a thousand. I mean, I don't have a thousand students yet, but it's quite literally this easy. You don't need to be working nearly as hard. You deserve more success. And you don't have to be nearly as stressed out. Now, I've got more videos coming, so 
Uh, please like and subscribe. Make sure you don't miss anything else. I know you could be literally anywhere on the internet right now. If you have any questions about this stuff, please go ahead and drop them down below. Yes, I'm going to link you to this exact transaction, this exact chat in the description of this video. And with that being said, um, we've got more ChatGPT videos coming in. We're gonna lay out the entire blueprint of everything that you need. You're literally doing 10 times more work than you need to to get far less revenue than you deserve. That's what we're all about here. Um, making all of this easy and fun because I promise you it is. And with that being said, um, thank you so much for all your support. I know you can be literally anywhere on the internet right now you've chosen to spend your time with me. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment, hit the like button, share it with your friends, tell the system you love it, you're listening to it on the podcast. Now, this is a pretty visual one. Uh, so, uh, you know, maybe go and watch the video, but leave five stars in a comment. Just all of the things to tell the platforms how much you love all of this. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet. Bye.